Welcome to my world. Ridgeway and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, let's look for that subscribe button and smash on it. And don't forget to tap on that bell. We're going to go into my purse today, show you what's in it, take everything out, and put it into my basket bag. I'm so happy. I love my basket bag. I wait until we have a warm stretch of weather to use the basket bag throughout the days of summer. I could have done it in May, but I knew we would get cooler weather because New York is always up and down, being the great white north. Let's get into this video, and you're going to see what's inside my blue bucket bag, which is from Walmart, the store, not the dot-com, and my basket bag, plus a bag that I take to the beach. I'll show you both the basket bag and the beach bag I picked up at my favorite thrift store. Okay, we're going to see what's inside my bag. I use this a lot in the springtime, but I want to touch it up a notch and switch it to this bag for in the summer. And then this will be my extra bag for when we go swimming and on vacation to the beach just to have a pop of fun. I'm going to take everything out of this bag and get it cleaned up, put away until I use it again. And I do like the clear plastic bag. It has the anchors on it and I can use it all summer if I wish. But I love using my basket bag during the warm days of summer because it just says fun. The thing we're going to do is take everything out of my bag and see what's in it. My hairspray. My hair gets really big when it's humid out, so I spritz it a little bit with hairspray to keep it contained. I keep a spare sealed water in my bag in the summer all the time, pretty much all year. I keep these little pouches from Dollar Tree in my bag to stay organized. And my Let Us Eat business cards. I'm going to go through the little bags to make sure they're organized. Now this is supposed to just be my first aid. We're outdoors more. My children are older, but I still keep Band-Aids and Motrin and things on hand as needed, as well as pads just to have them. And there's a little first aid kit from the Dollar Tree. And I also keep a rain pouch because sometimes you can get a downpour out of nowhere. You can pick up those rain pouches at the Dollar Tree. My house key. I don't drive. I always keep my wallet. And a little bit of cash, not much. My store cards, my bank card, which I just recently used. I want to make sure it's handy for when I need it again. Old photos of the kids and my library card handy. This Saturday we're going to a library program. Out of the inside pouch so they're easily grabbed. And always my health insurance card. I have my children's health insurance cards as well. And my husband also has a copy of them. And we also bring those with us when we go out and about or on vacation. I know I got to take the business cards out of this and put them into the one. I put them in there quickly and I have a lot of change in here. I usually keep quarters on hand for the gumball machines for my 12 year old. We don't really need masks anymore, but I keep one on hand just in case for me and my 12 year old. My 18 year old always has them on hand. I always keep something to keep your hands clean. Especially if you eat in the car, so it's your hands are nice and clean before you eat. My mask, we're going to get that contained within my bag. I keep a hairbrush in my bag. And here, I keep pins in the toothbrush holder. These also can be picked up at most Dollar Trees. 
and you, you can also keep those reusable straws if you don't like paper straws in these containers and just wash the straw when you're done with it. I keep a calendar on hand. And insect repellent because we spend a lot of time at the playgrounds, parks, hiking trails, beaches, and pools in the summer months. It's probably been about two months, maybe three months, since I've done my bag. All these papers or old receipts, probably mostly Dollar Tree, plus an envelope from a card from a friend. I recently did a photography gig and they gifted me some money for a tip. I also keep a spongy on hand at all times for my kid with the long hair. When I was little, I used to find Cheerios and candy wrappers in my purse. I get all the change out and put it into the change pouch in the big pouch so they're not floated everywhere. Head and open up the little pouch. All these pouches, except for this floral one, came from the Dollar Tree. Press to change my purse, and I'm going to put the small one inside the large one to keep it in one place and it's not lost. Looking for it quickly. I'm put this in here. The smaller pouch is my business card holder. If you would like some of my business cards, email me, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com, and I will send you some. I've had these pouches for a couple years from the Dollar Tree. I really like them, but they remind me of donuts. I've got all the change inside this little pouch here. So I'm going to take the mask, the small one, and put them in here as well as mine. That way they're not floating all over my purse. And discard all this. I haven't used that clip yet. I'll probably put it in the box of giveaways. And all these receipts can be Tossed out. Side more, I always keep a sunblock in my bag and I keep it in my bag at all times for when we go to the pool or park or the beach or hiking and I pop it right into the bag. I'm going to put it in that pocket there. I'm going to start packing the bag and put your pouches in. This pouch I picked up at a thrift store, a small floral one. They sometimes have good quality ones there that people have donated. I want to get back to my thrift store because I want to see if I can get white gauchos or a skirt and a pair of khaki shorts. My key, I pick up this long strap at the Dollar Tree as well and I love it because I have a hard time finding my keys and that way I just look for the strap. Keep my hairspray handy, bottled water handy, and distribute the weight between the bag. And I have these little pockets here for the hand sanitizer and the bug spray. And I'm going to show you a close-up. One of the last things that I usually organize is put your wallet on top. I just put my pen in one of the pockets so it's sticking out with the hairbrush. Nice and organized and clean.
bucket bag from Walmart will get put away until I want it again. I love this bag. It's a timeless piece that can be used season after season, like your basket bag and the other bag. Quick tip, save your pill bottles for your purses. I put a bunch of Motrin in here. Sometimes you get a headache or you stretched out your back or something when you're out and about. I put about 20 Motrins in here and then I'll fill them up as needed. Put it right into the first aid pouch and zip it up and throw it in the bag. For this video, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and going through my bag with me and getting it organized and cleaned up by using a Dollar Tree pouches, Dollar Tree toothbrush holders, and keeping things on hand that are needed like a first aid kit, hand sanitizer, your keys, and your wallet with your health card information and your ID. Wherever you go somewhere, whether it's just even the grocery store, just in case something happens, have all that information with you. And always keep first aid handy because sometimes you may cut yourself when you're out and about and you'll have a band-aid and some way to clean up your wound. That is it for this video. When we get to 1,600, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. We're looking for 16 more people to give out one five item surprise pack from the Dollar Tree valued at 625. If you're new, you must comment and say hello. You need to be a U.S. resident and subscribe to win any of my giveaways. If you won in the past six days, you have to wait out 60 days in order to win again. And a lot of you have already passed over that hump. If you won and haven't answered me within two days, you'll be disqualified. Another name will be chosen. If something happened, please get in touch with me at countryboots1268yahoo.com and we'll talk. Thank you for watching.